Now we are back with our next quit bit story for the day. Now, somebody sent me a message and they were like, Randall, come on. What's now, what's up with these kids? You're, you're saying that they're renting kids or they're paying for kids? Listen to me, that's exactly what I'm telling you. They're renting the kids. They go to a family in, in Guatemala or wherever and they pay them here, here's $200. Let me use your child to get across the border and the child will be brought back. Or there are people that are doing this. They set it up. The coyotes say, okay, you want to get across? Give me this, this amount of money. We'll get you a kid. That way you can take the kid across the border. You think that this ain't happening? I got people sending me messages saying, no, that can't be true. Well, let me tell you the truth. It's happening right now. I know this might look a little crazy, but it's the absolute truth. I'm not lying about what I'm telling you because fake news ain't telling you this. The reason why Donald Trump ain't really talking about this is because he's setting all this up is happening in the courts. This is happening in the court system. We got to get decisions from judges that are going to counter what these Democrats have been doing all these years, the Flores Agreement, all this other stuff. But you got to take it to court and get decisions from these people. And you got to show that these people are lying. They're using the kids. They always use the kids. That's what they do, America. Let's get into the story. Headline. Migrant paid $130 to rent boy to cross border as family, says Department of Justice. Who knows what else these people are doing to these kids? Why would you rent out your child? These people are being murdered. There's somebody, oh, I'm, I'm somebody's trying to kill me, all this other stuff. He, a Guatemalan man allegedly paid a family the equivalent of $130 to rent their eight-year-old son so that he could go to the U.S. as a family. Federal prosecutors told the Tucson grand jury in March. All this stuff is going on in the courts. No news is talking about it. He also allegedly paid a hun another $130, $130 to another person to create a false birth certificate for the child. You're seeing all these people with false documents bringing their kids across the border. Why else do you think the Trump administration sent out all these ICE people that got experience with interviewing these people and now they're fun now they're going to be testing for DNA and all this other stuff? Most of these people aren't, most of these illegal immigrants are not being told that the Trump administration is DNA testing all these people now. In a federal indictment reported by the by Tucson.com, Maynard Velasquez Molina sought out a Guatemalan child he could use to get into the United States. But everybody keeps on saying that Donald Trump is lying and then there's no crisis at the border. There's no children being trafficked. All these kids belong to these people. Just take their word for it. Are you, are you being serious right now? Hold on. Right, really? And, and to all my YouTubers out there that are making these videos, ask these people in your audience that question. Ask these people this question. Do you guys really believe that all these kids that are coming really are the kids of these people that are claiming to be the parents of the kids? You don't think there's no trafficking going on with these kids? There's trafficking. But a lot of, a lot of people are naive to this. A lot of Democrat people, Democrats, people on the left... They're naive. They just say, oh, just believe what the people say. You can't believe what these people are saying. You can't do that. It's like what happened with Kavanaugh. Just because somebody makes an extraordinary claim but has no extraordinary evidence to back up their claim, you're still going to believe the person? This is a big problem, America. And for me, I feel for the kids because, like I said, I'm a father. I have three kids. And that's how they try to get me. They try to get me because they know they you can play his heart like a guitar when it comes to kids. He's got kids. But what bothers me the most is that the parents, the parents that allow this, this type of stuff to happen, how could you rent a child out? Who in their right mind would do that? Oh, a poor person. I wouldn't do that. Even if I was living on the streets, I would never rent out my kids for money or anything like that. But these people do this. These people do this, man. 
when is when is when is the United States government going to wake up? Because it's people in government that are allowing this to happen. Think about it, America. Just stop and think. All of you guys know that this thing at the border is wrong, especially what's happening with all these kids. Why isn't the government doing? Let me make let me. That's not the right question. Here's the right question. Why isn't Congress doing anything about this? They are, Randall. No, they're not. Because if they were concerned, they would have got everybody together and they would talk about this. Okay, we got to stop this Flores decision. We don't want these people coming like this. If they have an asylum claim, okay, let them come for asylum. But listen, you're not going to be able to stay in the United States and run around and do all this stuff. No. You're saying that you're, you're in fear of something? Okay, prove it. Prove it to us. So in the meanwhile... We're going to have to detain you until said judge can hear your case. But we're not going to just release you into America. But there's some stupid decision that was made by a judge who, who put that in place, America. How does that make sense? And this is a judge. Velasquez, Velasquez crossed the border with a young boy as part of a large group of 101 migrants who illegally crossed the border on February 18th, just west of the Lukeville port of entry, the Arizona news outlet reported. They made the illegal border crossing after tra traveling across Mexico by bus, the special agent stated, after being processed in Tucson sector, Homeland Security investigation Special agents being talk, began talking to the man and eventually learned he paid for the use of the boy and for the false documents used for smuggling. Like I said, America, this is a case. This is now a case. The grand jury returned an indictment on March 27th on a charge of human smuggling, Tucson Com stated. Velasquez is not alone in his efforts to cheat the U.S. immigration system and asylum system. So if they know, like I said, they're telling you here in the news report that the government knows that these people are doing this. But why don't you know? Because they don't, the people don't, the people that are in charge of this information, they don't want you guys knowing this. They want you guys in the dark about all this. They want you guys all in the dark about this satanic, luciferian activity that's going on. Because these kids, some of these kids get raped. All sorts of stuff happened to these kids. And we shouldn't, we should not be sitting there like, oh, uh, go ahead and release these people. So tell me what's going to happen. Let's say that guy made it through this, made it through and got through with that kid. What does he do with the kid? How does he get the kid back across the border? How does he get the kid back? Because he didn't pick up this kid in Mexico. He picked this kid up, I believe, in Guatemala and was traveling with this kid in Guatemala Crossed Mexico. This kid is nowhere near his home. His home is in Guatemala. How did he get this kid back home? Since October 1st, 2018, Border Patrol officials in the Yuma sector reported more than 700 fraudulent family cases. 700, America. And who knows what's happened to these kids or what these people were doing with these kids. The news outlet reported some of those alleged fraudulent cases involved a migrant claim claiming to be an unaccompanied minor when they actually an adult. You have all these people saying that they're minors and they're adults. Still, others involved misrepresenting the relation between two travelers. Right. They lie. In one case, two Mexican men paid $260 for a pair of birth certificates belonging to a Guatemalan man and a Guatemalan minor with the same last name. The pair were eventually found out and a court sentenced the two men to only 20 days in federal prison, the Tucson News Group reported. I would, well, you know what, 20 days, I don't want these people in my, I don't want these people in my system for, 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 for two years and all this other stuff in the jail. They put them in jail for 20 days and then they were deported. That's why we need the wall. But like I said, you most people, most people that are believing the liberal left, 
believe that a wall is inhumane and it's cruel and it makes people feel bad. Listen, when you see my wall, I want your hopes and dreams to go down the toilet. I want you to see that thing like, wow, they don't want us there. Yeah, if you're coming into the country illegally, we don't want you here. Why would you want, like, it's like having a backyard and you got this mutt <laughs> named Muttley <laughs> trying to come up in there and play with your dogs and your dogs end up getting fleas and all this other stuff. They pick up bad habits off this dog and you're wondering, why are my dog smelling so bad? We just gave him a shower the other day because there's some, there's some mutt back there that, that figured out a way to get in and he's out there eating their food and all this other stuff and teaching them bad habits and doing bad things. And then you finally find out that, find them out, you fix the hole up and you throw that dog over the wall. So get out of here. That's what's going on. Light sentences seem to follow convictions in these cases as far, but not only that, these people get basically banned from coming to the United States. So if they try to come back, they're not going to come back through asking for asylum. These people are going to try to come through the side where there's no border wall. They're going to try to go through there and come into the country illegally. But Donald Trump is working on that. The Arizona Daily Star reportedly found only 53 uh, persecutions for false family claims in the 15 cases of adults using fraudulent birth certificates to try to pass as a minor since June of 2018. Of those, all but three cases resulted in quick pleas for illegally crossing the border where the migrants received sentence ranges, ranging from a few days to six weeks. Why? Because the attorneys are trying to are trying are trying not to are trying to make these um, make the sentences light. They don't want oh you're only going to get twenty days for lying. But if you do it, these people will make might give you a felony, take your gun right away, put your ass in jail, have you put put a one of those ankle bracelets uh, to, to to see where you're going. They'll do all that st stuff to you. But these 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 lawyers and attorneys that are pro illegal, they try to get these judges to give them light sentences. For committing fraud. But I don't want these people here. Send those people back home. We're putting a thing on him now that we know who he is and we got him scanned into our system. If we catch you here again, then your butt is going to be in detainment for two years. And guess what? You know what these people should be doing? I'm not going to put these people in detainment just to have them there. I'd make these people go out and build streets. Bash rocks all day or something. Because, man. That's a serious crime. If you as an American do that, these people throw the bathroom tub at you. But these people want to slap them on the wrist. This is what I'm talking about. To combat this problem created by broken asylums laws in the United States, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, Officials deployed three teams, like I told you. This is Donald Trump. Special agents to El Paso sector to assist the United States Custom and Border Patrol uh, protection officials in interdiction efforts in La Cruces, New Mexico, and El Paso, Texas, beginning on April 16th. The agency deployed three additional teams on April 22nd to the Rio Grande, Del Rio, Yuma, and El Sotro Border Patrol sector. ICE Homeland Security is redirecting resources to the border in response to cases of fake families using forged documents to allegedly enter our country and avoid detention. They're trying to avoid being detained. Our highly skilled teams are working to stop individuals, networks, organizations facilitating child smuggling and document fraud. ICE Acting Director Matthew Albans said in a written statement, ICE along with our partners at CBP remain committed to protecting children by ensuring they are not used as pawns by individuals attempting to gain entry to the US through fraud. This is what's going on and what you got to know. The fraud may include forged birth certificates, fraudulent documents to establish, you know, the paternity. ICE officials stated to the press release on Tuesday Forged or other fraudulent documents are also being used by adult illegal aliens to falsely claim they are minors under the age of 18. That's the truth. Ain't nothing new or different about what I'm saying. All I'm telling you 
is that this is what we're trying to keep out of the country. Because if they're willing to use false documents to lie to these people at Border Patrol and all this, what do you think they'll do? What, what, what do you think they're going to do? If they already did that there, what are they going to do when they want to get a job? Pay somebody in one of these places, places to steal a false or create a false identity from them? Steal a social security number from some dead person? And these people are out there working and the employers don't know any, any, any different because they think that the social security number is valid. But Donald Trump is putting a stop to this. So guys... Thanks. All I have to say is Donald Trump's working on it. He's working on it. And you guys need to work on liking and subscribing. And make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because we're trying to hit 30,000 subs. So guys, make sure to support the channel, Patreon, or my PayPal. Hit me up. Everything helps. Outside of that, I'll be back with some more news in a little bit. Peace out.